G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. I've got a background, I've got a hat, we've got some lights and some cameras. No mics, but let's get this going again, man. I've been missing YouTube for years and years and years. I obviously don't have time to do train tutorials anymore, um, but you know, there's wonderful channels out there doing way better stuff than I ever could that uh, covers that. I'm just going to start pumping out stuff that I'm interested in. And today, I really want to have a look through this rule book for burrows and badges. Um, and I haven't even opened it. It arrived maybe a week ago. I originally bought this game when I went to Salute a couple of years ago. And it came in a very small novel format. I don't know where that's gone. This second edition has been published by Osprey last year. Excuse me. Very charming, Viv. Um, <laughs> Published by Osprey last year. I found my figures in a massive cleanup recently and I painted all of those in three or four days, 20, 16 figures over a weekend. I think I painted, we'll see those later on. But I want to sit down on the couch, I've got a cold, um, read this rule book, and I thought, look, I'm gonna put the cameras on because I haven't even opened this yet. So let's have a real quick flip through and then I'll come back later on once I start uh, you know, understanding the game. Uh, we'll come back and have a look at it. Um, along with a whole bunch of other cool stuff that uh, that I'm doing at the moment. So, burrows and badges. Oh, Creek. Um, I, I, I picked up this game on a whim. Like I said, when I was at Salute, uh, you know, I was wandering around. I was there with the guys from Mana Press. They're a Melbourne outfit uh, that uh, publish a whole bunch of cool uh, uh, skirmish games. Uh, Tribal being one of them, which I've spoken about in the past. Anyway, I bumped into those guys on the way to Salute in a little airport in Brunei. Tagged along with those guys for the rest of the trip and helped them out of their stand. And so I had limited time at Salute to really look around. Um, actually, I don't think I helped them out a great deal at all. I think I said I was going to, and I think I just might spend my time walking around shopping. Um, but anyway, I saw this game and I thought, yeah, that's cool. Um, I'll grab some stuff. And I quite literally said to the guy there, his name is Michael, um, Michael Lovejoy. I don't have a lot of time. Uh, you know, are there rules for these miniatures? He's like, yeah, yeah, cool. There is. So I was like, great, give me a rule book. Give me a bunch of miniatures. I'll be back in five minutes. You know, I don't know if I said to him, you know, this is the budget or I don't care how much it costs or... Um, I literally just said, look, give me a rule book and a bunch of miniatures, enough for a few people to play some games and ran off. Uh, went and got some money, came back, bought them, and they've been going uh, in and out of boxes for years and years, um, in between the studio and home, and um, so I've never done anything with it. Until recently I found those miniatures, I really wanted to paint them, they're super fun anthropomorphic figures, uh, and they would be such a joy to paint, I'll talk about those later on. Um, okay, anyway, so I've watched a few videos now about this Osprey version of the game, and I've got a, a very initial fear that this is, well, it's obviously published by Osprey, but um, is, an, is an Osprey game. Um, some Osprey games, you know, they all seem to follow a similar format or a similar, similar sort of style. Um, and watching some of those videos the other night, you know, I was kind of getting that impression that this is an Osprey game. Um, and I'm disappointed I can't find the old rule book, the little novel sized rule book, because I'd love to read that and then read this and find out what's changed. Um, you know, I don't know a great deal about this game. I really would appreciate you, your feedback, your comments, your suggestions on things that you love about this game, things that you don't like about the game, and you know, your overall impressions. Um, because I'm concerned that this is not going to be amazing. Um, simply from the videos I've watched and, and, and some of the gameplay mechanics. And now I don't know if that's an Osprey thing or if that's, you know, uh, an edition one that's coming through, I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, just immediately flipping through this rule book, it does look very similar uh, to the original novel. Um, in that, you know, if we go back to these first couple of pages, you know, there's some blocks of text and a picture. You know, a couple of pictures, some blocks of text and a picture. You know, some tables, more blocks of text, more blocks of text. Um, and if we go all the way back to the beginning and flip through the first couple of pages, you know, one thing about a rule book... I can't see anything in here that gives me any uh, examples of gameplay. Um, and, and you know that you'd expect that in a game uh, to, you know, it really makes it easy for people to understand it when you give them a block of text to read. And an example, you know, this figure moves here, this figure moves here, and you see a lot of that sort of stuff. And um, Anyway, so I don't see any of that sort of stuff. Um, 
But look, there are, the pictures in this book are beautiful, and the, and the miniatures are joy to paint. Absolutely, just painted themselves. You know, uh, I've been sick now for uh, uh, over a week, and um, I painted up uh, those sixteen figures last weekend, I think, or weekend before, I think. Uh, just smashed through them. It was just so much fun. Um, anyway, so you know, there's a whole bunch of different sorts of characters and creatures in here. You know, there's no specific factions, as far as I'm aware. Uh, you know, they just, uh, you can pick and choose whichever ones you want. Um, but, you know, look, I, don't, I, I can't really talk too much about it. I don't know a great deal about it. I just, I wanted to sit down and read the rule book. But, you know, before I did that, I thought, you know, if I'm going to film stuff for this game, you might as well do it from the beginning. Um, I'm not a, I can't paint. I'm an uncoordinated painter. So filming me painting miniatures is useless. So there's no point in me trying to film any of the miniatures I've painted. I'll paint them all. And then you'll, you'll see them all later on, and then, you know, we'll start doing some battle reports and playing some games and blah, blah, blah. Um, but, you know, let's go to the beginning. So there's a campaign system in here. I'm not sh exactly sure if that's, you know, like a, you know, a Mordheim sort of campaign system. And I hate to be able to, you know, use that expression, but I think, you know, everyone can associate with that. You know, everyone knows what Mordheim is. Well, I'm assuming everyone knows what Mordheim is, and it's campaign system. After the game, roll some dice. Characters get better. They, you know, might get might get worse, might get better. They'll find stuff, all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, similar, I guess, you know, to Frostgrave and you know, other campaign systems. So I don't. You know, let's have a look through that. Some scenarios in here. Look, overall, uh, overall, look, it's a nice rule book, but um, I don't, I'm, I don't know. I'm not convinced so far. We'll see. I just love the theme and the style of it. Michael's miniatures are wonderful, so let's give it a crack and see what it's like. That's Burrows and Badgers, my very, very first impression of this Osprey edition that came out last year. I'm going to go off, read this rule book, uh, try, and, try and digest it, and then, you know, we'll come back, uh, you know, with a bit more of an informed opinion. If you know about the game, um, you know, tell me what's good about it. Tell me what's bad about it. What are your house rules? What do you change? What don't you like? Um, Charlotte, do you want to come and say hello? My daughter, Charlotte, you know, some of you will remember her. She's been painting a whole bunch of her miniatures lately and uh, spending a great deal of time in here with me. Come and sit up here. What have you been painting? What did you paint the other day? Horses. Some horses and a? Carriage. No, a chariot. So we're going to base those. Anyway, um, we'll come back and have a look at Charlotte's uh, ancient Celt army, which she's been painting. Um, beautifully coloured army. Uh, that's Buzz <laughs> Burrows and Badgers. Uh, let's come back and have a look at, you know, when I'm a bit more, uh, you know, savvy about the game. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. See ya. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs>